بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دا بی ایس کلاس دس از مس صوفیا باسی لیکچر ان انگلش ٹوڈے آر ٹاپک فار ڈسکشن از پیراگراف رائٹنگ سو دی تھنگ کمز ان مائنڈ دیٹ واٹ میکس اے گڈ پیراگراف What are the parts of a paragraph? What comes first? And think of the most important part of paragraph. A paragraph is a collection of related sentences dealing with one topic. Parts of a paragraph. There is a topic sentence then there are supporting details there is a closing sentence and sometimes a transition sentence so again certain questions come to our mind when we think about a topic sentence we think what is it what does it do and how do we write one same goes for the supporting details what are they what do they do and how do we write them what is a closing sentence what does it do and how do we write one and what is a transition sentence what does it do and how do we write one so coming to the topic sentence it is the first sentence in a paragraph what does it do it introduces the main idea of the paragraph and how do we write one we summarize the main idea of paragraph in topic sentence supporting sentences what are supporting sentences supporting details come after topic sentence they make up body of the paragraph they give detail and support the main idea and how do we write them we give supporting facts details and examples in supporting sentences moving on to the closing sentence what is it it is the last sentence in a paragraph it restates the main idea in closing sentence we restate the main idea using different words the closing sentence should be very similar to the topic sentence hey i'm hungry i'm fasting and i really feeling like eating a yummy cheeseburger transition sentence the last sentence of a paragraph instead of closing sentence which closes one topic by leading into the next summarizing the main idea and hinting at topic for next paragraph let's think of a paragraph as a cheeseburger you have the bun the topic sentence on top and a bun that is closing sentence on bottom you have juicy middle part with cheese lettuce tomatoes etc that is supporting details with quotations and examples to suffice as how your burger can be double or triple decker so transition sentences are needed to lead into the next then the question comes to mind how long is a paragraph five to six sentences in total with one topic sentence and one closing sentence in case of variety of ideas one transition sentence to lead to next paragraph then there are three to four sentences of supporting details what do we use as support examples yes specific examples from the story event etc in your own words and quotations from the story then there are additional details titles of stories should be put in quotation marks titles of novels plays etc should be underlined then come to the stages of paragraph writing there is a pre writing stage pre writing stage you have to think carefully and organize your ideas before you begin writing
there are six pre-writing steps. Think carefully about what you are going to write. Open your notebook. Collect facts related to your paragraph. Write down your own ideas. Find most important point that you are going to present. Organize your facts and ideas in a way that develops your main idea. Then comes the writing stage. The writing stage is when you turn your ideas into sentences. Turning your ideas into sentences again require five steps. Open your notebook, write the topic sentence, supporting sentences and closing sentence. Write clear and simple sentences to express your meanings. Focus on the main idea of your paragraph. You can use the dictionary to find additional words to express your ideas. Then comes the editing stage, when you check your paragraph for mistakes and you correct them. Check your grammar and spelling. Read your paragraph again. Make sure each sentence has a subject. See if your subject and verbs agree with each other. Check the verb tenses of each sentence. Make sure that each sentence makes sense. Check your style and organization. Make sure your paragraph has a topic sentence. Make sure your supporting sentences focus on main idea. Make sure you have a closing sentence. Check that all your sentences focus on the main idea. See if your paragraph is interesting. Then come the types of paragraph. There are four types of paragraphs. Descriptive paragraph, persuasive paragraphs, informative paragraphs and narrative paragraphs. The descriptive paragraphs describe something or someone. For example, the cat. The cat is a quadruped, a four-legged mammal with two ears and two eyes and a tail. So that would, this would be giving the description of a cat. So such a paragraph would be a descriptive paragraph. And uh, the persuasive paragraph tries to convince the reader of something. For example, Ariel is the best washing powder. It is best because of its fine uh, granular texture and its uh, best washing effect. So uh, everyone must buy it and use it at least once so as to learn how effective its washing is. I always do my laundry with Ariel. So this would be a persuasive paragraph. Informative paragraph explains an idea and informs facts. For example, my country, Pakistan. And whatever information and detail I give about my country would be informative. Then narrative paragraph. This paragraph tells a story or describes an event. For example, my last vacation. I spent my last vacation uh, with my family in my native village and uh, I really enjoyed that. We loved going out, uh, enjoying village life and that's like all about uh, vacation would be included in narrative paragraph. Now dear students, you are required to write a paragraph of your own uh, with all these essential uh, things that uh, including uh, in that which make a perfect, a good paragraph. Thank you. Any questions?